Uh, well, um, methane is a greenhouse gas. Uh, like CO2, methane can trap heat in the atmosphere by uh, absorbing infrared radiation. Methane is a very strong um, infrared absorber, at least an order of magnitude stronger than CO2 on the per molecule basis. In addition to this uh, direct uh, radiative effect, methane uh, can also react chemically in the atmosphere to produce uh, CO2, water vapor, and ozone. All these are um, greenhouse gases. Um, methane comes from uh, many sources, including uh, man-made sources such as uh, oil and uh, gas industry, uh, coal mining, uh, livestock, uh, rice cultivation, landfills, and uh, wastewater treatment. Um, so you can see uh, methane uh, emissions are uh, intricately uh, related to many aspects of our uh, society and environments. Methane concentrations in the atmosphere have increased from a, a pre-industrial level of uh, 700 ppb, uh, which is based on the ice core record, to a current level of about 1,900 ppb. This is about a, a factor of three increase. In the last decades, we have seen a very rapid increase of uh, methane concentrations in the atmosphere. How much do we need to, to cut? What mm -hmm. should we target? Yeah, uh, the current goal is a 30% reduction of uh, anthropogenic emissions uh, by 2030 uh, relative to the 2020 level. In general, uh, the fossil fuel sector is thought to be low-hanging fruit, uh, at least a large part of it, uh, because the technology is already there and the agricultural and uh, uh, waste emissions are more challenging. Uh, but things can still be done uh, by improving the management in these areas, and also by building infrastructures for less developed regions. Uh, taking this all together, a 30% uh, reduction is uh, possible, but still very uh, difficult.